Hey, Mike here. Uh, like I was telling you, I hope y'all can see this good in the camera. Let me go around the other way. It's April 20th, 2020, and 80% of those radishes came back overnight. I am going to pour a little water on top of that. These are out in the sun, and it should either leak, leach out or just help them grow. And then I've been working on my back porch. Got this area cleaned up and organized. And I got uh, four front legs and four back legs cut for my bucket holders. Um, I didn't have to put this angle on here, but I thought it might look a little bit more appeasing because I'll put the two by four back here across and i just thought that looked a little bit more appeasing these are 17 inches tall so that just barely holds that bucket up off the ground which i'm not worried about the bucket hanging off the ground because i got the weep hole it's going to drain anyway and this is just stuff i have it's bent it's crooked it's warped but it's what i had and i didn't have to spend no money um i'm going to use those two by fours you see in the background um for part of it um I'm just trying not to spend a whole bunch of money right now. I don't know how serious I'm going to get in this gardening stuff. I'm going to do my best, but, you know. And then, uh, something else. There's, well, if Stella get out of the screen, there's little Trixie. Just playing outside. She'll be five weeks old tomorrow on the 21st. And she's getting cute as a bug in a rug, and I probably am going to keep her. But uh just a little update and then i'm gonna continue this when i have more time hey guys just uh doing some updates on my little gardening project I got going on uh, I bought this tub it's about two foot by a foot and a half it's not gonna be a self wicking tub but this is what I'm gonna put all my radishes in I don't think I like the radishes in the bucket um, already um, I'm still learning so I bought this tub and if you look real real close that little triangle with the five that's okay for food. Um, I think it has to be a two or a five to be okay for food. But I drilled some holes in here and I tried to get them as even as possible. But I wanted them offset too. Um, I didn't drill any holes in here because I want that kind of like a water reserve when I do water it. And then any overflow will weep out through these holes. And this is about six inches deep. So I'll put my soil about an inch from the top, and that should give me room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen radishes plants. I got two of these, so I got plenty of room. So that's what I'm doing with this. Uh, I'm gonna leave those one radishes in the bucket just to see how they do, but I'm thinking that. This might be the best way to go with the radishes. And also, next year, if I decide not to garden, I can I drilled the hole small enough that I can still use this and keep the lid and store car parts in it or stuff that I need to take to the lake to go camping. Um, even if it's sitting in the pickup with stuff in it, with a lid on it water ain't gonna get in the bottom of it or i can just take duct tape and go over all the holes so i mean it's no big deal um just trying to be frugal about this because i'm still learning and i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna do this next year i might if i have a good turnout but i did water these radishes this morning they just don't seem like they're getting very big yet but they got to recreate a base for the roots. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. YouTube. 
Uh, I got my radish bucket done yesterday, late yesterday. Then I had to lay down and take a nap, so I couldn't video it. Uh, for work. Um, same thing here. One third peat moss, two thirds potting mix, and I transplanted them. I think I'm gonna watch these for a couple more days before I transplant the other ones I have in the house. I think. Um, I got another tub. I got to drill holes in it and I'll fill it up probably this weekend. I think I'm going to just discard them and I'm going to start from seeds. I got a couple months more before it gets really, really warm outside and a radish is really a cool weather plant. Um, and I'm experimenting. I don't know. First, first year gardening. I don't know nothing. I've just been watching YouTube videos and doing what I can and learning as I go. And the puppy has got a hold of my shoe. Where's the puppy? I can't get the puppy. There's the puppy. All right. Uh, sorry about that, guy. guys. I probably just spun it. It's going to make y'all dizzy. <laughs> All right. I got my other bucket, the one I showed y'all, that I started building in the previous video, in the previous part of this video. Uh it's done. I got all my holes drilled, got my pipe cut. And what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to take a gallon of water and soak it from the top. Because I'm assuming it's going to take two gallons of water just like the last one. Then I'm going to take a gallon of water mixed with fertilizer and dump it in the bottom. So that can wick up. Um, I got a squash plant in the house. I'll show you in a second. I'll fix and put it in that thing. That thing is going like a weed. Um. Uh, these radishes, I'm still up in the air about. I noticed that a couple of them put on a couple more leaves. <laughs> the puppy just did attack my leg. Uh, so I'm hoping and praying that maybe these will go ahead and turn out. I don't know. Experiment. I'm learning. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So let me go show you that squash plant. This is the squash plant that I'm going to be transplanting today. Um... I'm going to leave the other squashes in the cups for a couple more days. Uh, my jalapenos, I don't know what to think about them. They hadn't even started popping up. Neither has my bell peppers. Uh, my cherry to plant plants, I don't know what happened. I put two, three seeds in each deal, and I got like 18 plants. I don't understand it. Uh, if somebody does, please let me know. And then I planted some cucumbers. In these two cups right here by my finger. And then I went and bought some watermelon seeds. And I planted two watermelon seeds in that cup. And believe it or not, I did that on 420. This is the 23rd. And they're fixing poke out. So, all right. Let's see. Let's go get Mr. Squash a new home. Well, I got to water that down first. Mr. Squash is going to get a new home. And I'm... Oops. I'm experimenting and I'm learning. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, guys, I got my first gallon of water. I'm going to pre-soak this. And my dog's drinking out of it. I have to be careful about that when I put the fertilizer in there. She doesn't need to be fertilized. <clears throat> she was already fertilized, and that's how I got a puppy. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just dumping a gallon of water in here. And like I said, I'm assuming it's going to take two gallons like the last bucket to fill it up. And so the next gallon, I'm going to put fertilizer in it. I'm just going to put a weak deal of fertilizer in here. I don't want to, with that young a plant, look at her drinking that water. I'm going to let that soak for a minute. And then we're going to go to transplanting. Sorry, I spun the camera around again. I'm going to let that soak for a minute, then we'll go to transplanting. What I did is I dug me a hole right in the center of the bucket where about the size of a solo cup, because that's what I got planted in. And I'm going to just transfer dirt and all, and then I'll cover it up. Then I'll give it a small another drink on top. Then I'll finish filling it up here and with the fertilizer so let's try to do that one-handed 
here's my little squash playing it on 412 i'm gonna try to carefully get it out of this cup one-handed because i don't want my soil to break up it doesn't seem like it wants to come out i might have to cut it there it goes see oh that's nice and wet anyway i'm gonna go ahead and push it down a little bit stella get back Get back. <laughs> you you, you got to love it when you have a dog that was willing to help you out. And I'm going to put a little bit of fresh potting mix and peat moss on top. Just to make sure it's good and covered. Oops, get y'all back in the frame. Sorry about that. Okay. And then I'm going to lightly water it. And then I'm going to fill up the tube. So hang on a second, let me go get my water. So I officially got my first squash transplanted in the bucket. And I'm just going to lightly give it some water. Just to keep it moist right there. And then I'm going to fill up the tube. Until I see water coming out. The drain hole, which already got water coming out of my drain hole. So, apparently, the bottles don't hold as much water as the cans. But I'm going to definitely soak it back down one more time because I want some as much nutrients in that soil as possible uh the fertilizer i got i'll show y'all here in a second what i'm using but you mix one teaspoon with a gallon of water and i'm gonna i'm gonna see how well it does and if i don't like the results then i might go with a different fertilizer it's a hundred percent organic fertilizer so i'm not not too worried about that but if that drains down and starts coming out of my hole I'm going to assume I don't think it's full yet because I didn't have anything come out of my wiki hole whip hole weak whip weaking hole weep weeping hole is what I'm trying to say I do there and it quits I don't know if I'm gonna like the bottles as much as I do the cans <sighs> and I got my handle on the wrong side of the, the fill tube it, do, it doesn't feel as heavy as the uh, can bucket Well, I'm going to assume that's full. And then, oh, I need to dump this fertilized water. I don't want to dump it on my, I guess I'm just going to have to keep it. Because I don't want to dump it on my radishes. Because radishes don't need any fertilizer. And speaking of fertilizers, let me show you what I got. This is the fertilizer I got. I ordered it off eBay. And somewhere on it, yeah, it's right there. It says 13.30.15. So that's a good round number for the fertilizer. And it says it's good for, well, there's all the ingredients, how much is in there. But it says it's real good for flower, vegetable, trees, shrubs, house plants, all-purpose professional fertilizer. And that's what I bought. It was, uh, I think it was $8 off eBay with free shipping. And then, I mean, I got it within about three days. So that's the fertilizer I'm using. And you put a teaspoon per gallon of water. And that's what you use when you water your plants. And, you know, 
you treat your plants like you want to be treated. You drink every day and you eat every day. So water and fertilizer. So we'll keep watching these in the next couple days and see how they do. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and please tell your friends. Thank you.